Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of pathology. Today we are going to do uh, another skin disorder which is acute eczematous dermatitis. Uh, very common in the clinics. And eczema ka jo word hai, that is uh, uh, basically isme bahut sari different etiologies aa jati hain uh, and it is not uh, pertaining to one particular disorder it's basically the presentation of so many different things but ultimately a skin par uski jo presentation hai usko hum naam dete hain eczema it's a clinical term that embraces a number of conditions with varied underlying etiology so the point is it can be because of so many different things new lesions take the form of erythematous papule so there are papules on the skin which are reddish in appearance therefore they are called erythematous papules and uh, often with overlying vesicles as well chote chote uspe vesicles bhi honge which will ooze and they also become crusted so some of them will be oozing which means the vesicles will be rupturing and some of them will have a crusted uh, a hardened appearance pruritus is also characteristic this is very important in uh, patients ko in ke rash mein kharish hoti hai with persistence these lesions coalesce to raised scaling plaques zare agar bahut zyada ho jayenge to fir wo ek bada sa patch ban jata hai scale ka which is a little harder the nature and the degree of these changes vary among the clinical subtype so baaz log aise honge jinme halka sa reddish uh, sirf ek patch hoga erythematous patch usme halki phulki kharish hogi baaz logon mein baqaida vesicles honge scales ban jayenge so the clinical spectrum basically vary aur uh, bahut sari different uh, एटियालॉजीज की हो सकती हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट कैन बी बिकॉज ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट डेमिटाइटस यानी देर इज ए लेडी उस लेडी ने कोई नए ब्रांड का मेकअप यूज कर लिया जो पहले नहीं यूज किया था उससे उसको एलर्जी हो गई सो दैट्स कॉन्टेक्ट डेमिटाइटस हाथ में घड़ी पहन ली उसमें मेटल था निकल उससे एलर्जी हो गई सो एलर्जिक कॉन्टेक्ट डर्मेटाइटस इट स्टेम्स फ्रॉम द टॉपिकल एक्सपोजर टू एन एलर्जिन मेकअप का टॉपिकल एक्सपोजर Uh, to the skin, uh, metal, nickel in the watch, topical exposure to the skin, and uh, the pathogenesis behind this because this is contact dermatitis. This is delayed hypersensitivity reaction. Okay, so that's one cause. Another can be atopic dermatitis, formerly attributed to the allergen exposure, now thought to often stem from defect in the keratinocyte barrier function. Although there is an uh, allergen which causes problem to the skin, and there is also a skin barrier issues, and uh, this is then known as skin with an increased permeability. So that is the scenario that the allergen get penetrated into the skin much more. Uh, routinely then it would do in a normally intact skin okay then the third category which causes eczema is uh, drug induced eczematous dermatitis which is hypersensitivity to any drug it can be sulfur drugs can be penicillins photo eczematous dermatitis is because of the light either uv light or visible light and then there is primary irritant dermatitis from exposure of a substance that chemically physically or mechanically damage the skin koi particular sabun hai ya kisi ko baqaida कोई रोड ट्रैफिक इंजरी हुई सो दैट्स अ फिजिकल ट्रामा उससे भी एग्जमा इनिशिएट हो सकता है सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स कैन इनिशिएट द प्रोसेस ऑफ इन्फ्लेमेटरी स्किन लीजन कॉल्ड एग्जमा ओके वाइल एटोपिक डर्मेटाइटिस रिफ्लेक्ट a genetic predisposition and can persist for years or decades other forms of eczematous dermatitis resolve completely such as contact dermatitis aap makeup hata le and the dermatitis go away Allergic contact dermatitis is triggered by exposure to an environmental contact sensitizing agent such as poison ivy that chemically reacts with the self proteins and the T cells are activated and this is how the delayed hypersensitivity reaction basically works and you know that right the self protein modified by the agent are processed by the Langerhans cells which are present already in the skin these are immune cells and they migrate to the draining lymph nodes jahan pe T cell ke sath interaction hota hai so see what all is going on so this is the skin uh, there is contact self proteins altered they go to the lymph node langerhans ko process karte hain and lymph node mein they interact with the T cells and the T cells then react there and this is what we call the delayed hypersensitivity reaction okay Clinically, how does it look like? Lesions of acute eczematous dermatitis are pruritic. सबसे पहले उसमें खारिश होनी है ठीक है ये तो इसका कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर है कैन बी एडेमिटस ऊजिंग ऊजिंग है एडेमिटस इस वजह से प्लेग्स बन जाते हैं ऊपर दे कैन बी वेजिकल रेपुलर विद परसिस्टेंट एंटीजन एक्सपोजर लीजेंस में बिकम हाइपर कैरेटोटिक सो दी द अपर लेयर दी एपिडर्मल लेयर इट ग्रोज हैवी 
it grows heavy hyperkeratosis okay and uh, some changes are produced by exacerbated stretching uh, scratching of the skin kharish karne ki wajah se the clinical causes of eczema are sometimes divided into the inside jobs reaction to an internal circulating antigen and an outside job where well, agar contact dermatitis ki wajah se hai susceptibility to dermatitis is often inherited and bahut sari jo monozygotic identical twins mein study ki gayi hai dekha gaya ki there is a concordance of about 80% in the identical twins which means that it has a genetic component it usually appears in early childhood and remits spontaneously as the patient matures because the immune system then gets trained children with atopic dermatitis often have asthma also because i told you there can be different causes of uh, eczema one of the category was atopic dermatitis so this atopy is also the phenomena which we studied in asthma for example or in other allergic disorders so these patients may have atopic triad of dermatitis um, rhinitis and asthma all together happening all together okay this is a diagram to show you the eczematous rash in an elderly person and you can see there is erythema scaling is pe nahi itna pata chal rahi diagram pe waise bhi wo palpate karte hain to zyada feel hoti hai and but you can at least appreciate the erythema right so you can see the erythema there is also a scale and that is from a nickel uh, induced contact dermatitis ko necklace pehna hua hai unhone us se inko contact dermatitis hua hai so patient usually tell this in the history okay now a very important terminology in um exam ke hawale se bahut important hai ye term of spongiosis as the name implies the skin involvement in contact dermatitis is limited to the sites of direct contact so yahan pe necklace pehna tha to neck pe hi nishan bana hai right whereas in other forms of eczema lesions may be widely distributed spongiosis or epidermal edema characterizes all forms of eczematous dermatitis hence the term is spongiotic uh, because there is um, edema there is a spaces within the cell so that is all uh, what we call spongiosis ye exam mein bahut puchte hain but when you see spongiosis think of uh, eczematous dermatitis okay so that concludes our discussion on eczema the next video will focus on erythema multiforme